Hey everyone, here with Tommy. Um, you can just see him, Tom. There he is. Um, to do to look at wonderful words now. If if I'm able to, I I'm trying to meet with the person who said them to hear from their own words um, about the quote. But in in many cases, of course, that's not possible. And one of my absolute favorite quotes of all time is by Alan Watts, the philosopher who died in 1973. Um, and I, he's done some beautiful recordings and, and work. And this quote, I think, is so simple. And yet, oh my God, what it says, I'll read it out. This image of yourself is obviously not real, any more than the idea of a tree is a tree any more than you can get wet in the word water. It's just so good that it, because it, it points to the thing that is so obvious and yet so impossible for the mind to genuinely realize, which is that the, the thoughts, the constructions, the thoughts of the thing are not the thing. They are not the reality, they are imagination. And so the, obviously we can't get wet in the word water. And yet, when we think of water, or we think of tree, or we think of money, or we think of success, or we think of him or her, we, the mind believes it is interacting in that moment with reality. And so Alan Watts says, this image of yourself is obviously not real. And I think we could even go further to say that the, the image of ourself is even less real than the idea of a tree or the idea of water or the idea of a cat. Because the cat, say, there's an apparent reality to him, isn't there? You know, like there's a, there's a, what <laughs> tangibility to it he moves the computer um moves the table there's if he if he scratched me or bit me there would be a, a mark on me there might be pain there's a tangibility to the cat even though when the word cat comes to mind or even the word tommy that image in my mind has n is not real it's not representing reality. It's, it's representing all the associations, all the beliefs, all the memories, all the ideas that have all clumped, clumped together in one thing that says, this is the reality of Tommy. And it's not. It's, it's my created, it's my mind's created version of a cat of that cat which is not reality but nevertheless there's an apparent reality isn't there to chairs and tables and computers and the body but with the self what what is it really what is that and that's and that you know that's where i just i love this quote because the self idea is the thing that the mind takes unquestionably to be exactly as it's believed to be. This idea of self is obviously not true, he says. And yet, over and over and over and over again, it looks to be true. And so, I think this is really cool to start considering that Although there is an apparent reality in the world of form, how it's represented in the mind is not the thing. It's just the representation in mind. And that's the beginning of freedom in the world of form. And then this idea of self has no reality in the world. It's not tangible. It's, there's no rules of physics that apply to it. There's no mechanics to it. 
it has no existence outside of thought, outside of belief. And so it's, it's obviously not real. It gains its reality through identification with form, with the forms of thought, with the form of the body, with the form of actions. And yet there is no substance to it. Everything about it is thought created. And, and that is the ultimate freedom. And that's where philosoph uh, philosophers like Alan Watts are so, so inspirational, such leaders in terms of making transparent what is going on, really, what, what the mind creates and, the, and what is true, what's not true. Yeah, so thank you to Alan Watts for that quote and for all his work. Yeah, and so much love to you all. Bye.